Good to be here. Uh, so uh, I'm Canadian. Um, when I was when I was 11, I started going to a French school, and it was French immersion. So we just all of a sudden, boom, fucking learning French. And one of the things that my teachers, yeah, I know. One of my one of the things my teachers did uh, to help us like get a feel for the language was we started watching this um, French Canadian kids show called Tele Francais. And I don't, does anyone know Tele Francais? Any Canadians here? You don't know it? Okay, well, let me tell you about it, sir. Uh, Tele Francais was like, sort of like French Sesame Street, but it was seriously fucked. Okay, like the creators of this show were fucking popping some sort of hallucinogenic drug. Like the show was about these two little kids, Claude and Sophie, who would spend all day long hanging out in this abandoned warehouse with like fucking broken down cars and garbage everywhere, and their only friend was a talking pineapple. Anana. And they treated Anana like shit, you guys. They fucking hated Anana. And he was their only friend. And so Anana was like super upbeat and really happy. And his catchphrase was, Bonjour, je suis une Anana. And every time he said it, they would fucking challenge him. Mais les Anana ne pas. Oui, c'est vrai. Les ananas ne parlent pas. Okay, Claude, Sophie, that pineapple is clearly talking to you. You are having a conversation with a pineapple right now. Obviously, ananas can parle, okay? They can. They can do it. Like, could you imagine that shit on like an English language kids show? Like fucking Sesame Street? Like, hi kids, I'm Big Bird, but you're too big to be a bird. <laughs> yes, it's true. You're too big to be a bird. I'm Barney the Dinosaur, but dinosaurs are extinct. Yes, it's true. Dinosaurs are extinct. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Barney. Why? Why, Claude? Why, Sophie? I would get so angry. And so the show, like, they would constantly be trying to teach us new verbs. And so Anna would get really excited. Like, one day he'd be like, Bonjour, je suis une Anna, et aujourd'hui je vais neiger. Mais les ananas ne neigent pas. Oui, c'est vrai. Les ananas ne neigent pas. Okay, could you fucking let this pineapple live his life? Like, why are you limiting his possibilities and his potential as a being? He has little arms and little legs and a face, and he can go for a swim if he wants to. What the fuck is your problem, Claude et Sophie? Fuck, you just spend all day hanging out in this abandoned lot with fucking broken down cars and garbage everywhere, emotionally abusing a pineapple? Like, you little French assholes. Why don't you go fucking torture some ducklings or something? Fuck, I hated them so much. I really did. But, um, oh, could you pass, sorry. One second. This is a little prop for me. I forgot about it, sorry, man. Um, it's so good to be in France, though. Like, it's honest to God, this is my third day here in Europe, and it's been a dream of mine to come to France, and I just fucking love it. I love it. Like, and honest to God, like, sometimes I feel like Tele Francais is like a perfect metaphor for French culture, because I'm here, and I'm so excited, and I'm so exuberant, and everyone I meet fucking hates me. <laughs> It's like, Paris is Claude and Sophie. And I'm the emotionally abused pineapple who just wants to be accepted. Why don't you accept me? 